Good, we're all here. I think it's time we begin. Sir, excuse me, but what exactly is he doing here? I will address that issue. But there are other subjects that require our attention first. The level of unrest in the Commonwealth continues to rise, as we're all aware. Your report. All Institute facilities remain completely secure, with the exception of one notable breach. Otherwise, internally, things are as tight as they've ever been. Dr. Ao has been keeping an eye on things topside. Yes. Uh, watchers show no additional threats beyond those previously identified. We're still monitoring the increased activity around Ford Independence, but there are no immediate signs we should be concerned. Boston International Airport remains occupied, with Brotherhood presence noted at several other points throughout the Commonwealth. Intelligence suggests that this railroad continues to operate and is becoming more ambitious. SRB agents are monitoring all known situations, sir. Very good, thank you. It's clear that our safety needs to be the primary concern going forward. To that end, where are we on Phase 3? Excuse me, but sir, are you sure this is, well, the proper time to be discussing that? Considering, I mean... Given all parties present? Ah, yes, that's true. Have you heard anything about Phase 3? Of course. Really? Well, there's no shame in being out of the loop, as it were. The project has been classified for quite a long time. Power is, as I'm sure you've seen above ground, a very valuable commodity. I'm not talking about some abstract concept of control. I mean real, tangible power. The kind that keeps the lights on. With every advance the Institute makes, our need for raw power increases. Many compromises and sacrifices have been made over the years to allow progress to continue. What kind of compromises? We have at times had to rely on drawing power from above ground installations. It risks personnel and equipment, but no longer. Phase three is simply the activation of a nuclear reactor that can provide enough power to the Institute now and forever. It will ensure not just our survival, but our prosperity. Sounds like an important step. That's... well... That's an understatement. The reactor is close to ready, but recent tests have determined we have a few tasks ahead of us. Thus, we come to Phase 3, and to how you will help. Sir? Yes, Dr. Ayo. Previously, we would rely on Kellogg for above-ground operations, yes? Well... He is gone. While I'm not overly fond of putting my own father in harm's way, he has proven more than capable of handling himself. Uh, y yes but... This is not a matter for debate. Now, there is one more subject that requires discussion. I don't know that this is the time. Dr. Holdren, it is time. Please, as I'm sure several of you are already aware, I have been under Dr. Volkert's care for some time. I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. Our best efforts have failed. Every experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful. I'm... I'm sorry to say I am dying. No! Please, can't be serious! Everyone, please, I am sorry. This is not how I wanted to tell you, but we're running out of time. There must be something we can do to help you. The only thing that matters now is continuing the Institute's work. It will be all right. I assure you, we can talk more later. Right now, the future of the Institute is at stake. The Institute cannot survive without leadership. The Directorate must continue to govern with the best interest of all in mind. To that end, I am naming my father as my successor. Oh, boy. You can't be serious! Really? How can you possibly justify this? He isn't one of us. He isn't even a scientist. Ignoring your borderline, insubordinate tone, I will simply say this. The Institute has enough scientists. What it needs is a leader. I believe my father has already proven himself more than capable in that regard. 
This will conclude this meeting. Thank you. X688 sounded very impressed with your work at Libertalia. He doesn't give praise lightly. Well done. Safety first. Remember that. <sighs> I had no idea. I know this is... Well, it's a lot to take in at once. I'm sorry, Father. I hope it wasn't too presumptuous of me to put you in charge without even asking first. I can do the job. Of course you can. That's why I made the decision. There's no question that some of the Directorate and the Institute at large will need reassurances about your appointment. That's why I'd like you to take charge of this latest operation. Dr. Fillmore can fill you in on the details. There are hard decisions ahead for all of us, but for you especially. I know that you'll do the right thing. Winston would stop telling those stupid stories. Busy day for you, isn't it? Well, it's about to get busier. You're going to lead this operation, I'm told. Absolutely. All right, let's go over the details. Recent events have upset our timetable. Getting the reactor online has become our number one priority. It needs to be running, well, yesterday. We're going to have to cut some corners. I'm not thrilled, but it means we'll need to rely on some pre-war tech. You're going to the Mass Fusion Building to acquire a beryllium agitator for us. Consider it done. I'll consider it done when I've got it in my hands. I'm going with you. Sounds good. I'd appreciate the company. Not as much as I'd appreciate coming back in one piece. I don't like going above ground unless there's no other option. But here we are, with our options dwindling quickly. Not to put more pressure on you, but we have to move quickly on this. Word is that the Brotherhood is nosing around the area. We don't want them getting the agitator before we do. Head on up to the relay, and I'll meet you there. Just a routine patrol, sir. Ah, Paladin. Good. Now that the unfortunate matter regarding Dance has been settled, 
we can return to our primary mission. I'm ready, Captain. Good, because this mission demands your full attention. Now, before we launch our attack on the Institute, we need to address another threat, the Railroad. They're a small but capable group that uses subterfuge and guerrilla tactics to harass their enemies. Our tactical analysis says they could possibly hamper or harm our operations, which is a risk I'm not willing to take. If we strike them now, we should be able to maximize the amount of damage we do to their organization. Hit them before they hit us? I like it. Precisely. Destroying the railroad hinges on completely eliminating their leadership. Otherwise, they'll simply regroup somewhere else. To that end, here's a list of the five targets we believe would cause a catastrophic failure in their chain of command. Consider it done. Thank you, Paladin. When you're ready, proceed to the Old North Church and link up with our assault team. They'll provide demolition support and all the firepower you'll need to take the railroad down. Ad Victorium, Paladin. Try and get Pam back here in one piece, okay? Proctor, I have if you're no good at hacking you, Pam's Paladin. systems, you should take Virgil. someone with you who can. As long as that abomination lives, he's a threat to the Brotherhood. The time has come to deal with him. I'll take care of it, Captain. Thank you, Paladin. Dismissed. Station keeping maintained. Thrusters stable. Excuse me, Proctor Ingram. If you find anything interesting in the railroad headquarters, don't forget to bring it back here. Communications array Try and get Pam back here in one piece, okay? Commonwealth's a dangerous place. Make sure you gear up before you head out. Attention. Delta Team Lead, report to the bridge. Delta Team Lead to the bridge. Charging into a situation, guns blazing, is a good way to get yourself killed. Lancer Captain Kells is one of the finest officers I've ever had the pleasure of serving under. Welcome aboard, brother. If you find anything interesting in the railroad headquarters, don't forget to bring it back here. Ingram? If you're no good at hacking Pam's systems, you should take someone with you who can. At Victoria, brother.
Let's do this. Oh. Here we go. A noise? Yeah, out there! Somewhere! I hear something! Target reacquired. to kill. You bastards won't take us down. Got trouble. Godless freaks. Die. My head. For Elder Max. Standing down. Ah. Ah. They're here. They're here. Taking fire. Detonation pack secured and ready, sir. For the sins!
Taking damage! Ad Victoria! Been hearing things all day. Your bastard will take us down! Aha! Found you! Go down. Let's do this. Safety's off. Got trouble. Commonwealth of danger. Captain. Well, it appears that the railroad won't be a hindrance to our future operations. 
Those sympathizers deserved exactly what they got. That they did. I'm also pleased you managed to secure Pam, rather than allow it to be destroyed. We are having it brought to the Pridwin, where it will be installed in Proctor Quinlan's office. It's an amazing piece of pre-war technology that should prove to be quite beneficial to us. Speaking of pre-war technology, Proctor Ingram is putting the final touches on Liberty Prime and requires your assistance. Congratulations on another successful mission, Paladin. Ad Victorium. Attention! Any soldiers who have not yet received a field assignment from Proctor Teagan should speak to him at once. That is all. Unless you like getting radiation Pam. sickness. Pam. Warning. I'd stay away Taking this that. unit in the leg will not increase computational speed. Proctor Ingram? You look like you've been through the ringer, Paladin. You can say that I blame you. That was a hell of a business with Dance. Can't even imagine having to look him in the face and pull the trigger. If we're gonna defeat the Institute, we can't allow personal feelings to interfere with our mission. Spoken like a true disciple of Maxon. Anyway, we need to move on to more important things now. Like getting Liberty Prime off of life support. We've been feeding him power through the Pridwin's engines, but there isn't nearly enough juice to cold start his fusion reactor. That's why we need you to find us a beryllium agitator. And I'm betting you know right where to find it. Of course I do. I didn't become head of ship maintenance just because of my good looks, you know. Quinlan dug up some dirt on a company called Mass Fusion. They were a power utility company before the world went belly up. The CEO was some kind of an inventor. Dreamed up all sorts of nuclear power toys. The agitator was his crown jewel. Records show he was working on it in his lab at the top of their high-rise in the financial district. That's where we're headed. Hope you don't mind a little company, because I'm coming with you. It would be helpful if you tagged along. I knew you'd see it my way. Kells has a vertebrate on standby waiting to drop us off on the roof of the Mass Fusion Tower. Grab whatever gear you need and meet me on the flight deck. But don't take too long. If the Institute finds out the Agitator's there, they'll do everything they can to keep it out of our hands. If you run into any sense, shoot to kill. Roger that, Scabbard. We have clearance for release. You might want to hang on, sir. The 
drop can be a little rough. Never could get used to flying in these things. Won't be able to hack this. Let's check out that terminal over there. Calm down, Noel. You knew that this was coming. I don't understand why you're acting this way. Don't tell me to calm down, Carl. When we started designing the beryllium agitator, you said it would be for the benefit of mankind. Instead, I find out that you have been planning on turning it over to the military all along. You lied to me. Don't give me that high and mighty attitude. Have you picked up a newspaper lately? There's a war going on out there, Doctor. And if our side's going to win, it needs all the help it can get. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Since when did science start taking sides? What did they promise you, Carl? Money? Political favors? A goddamn medal? That's enough! Like it or not, 
When the testing cycle is completed, I'm crating up the agitator and sending it off to Washington. Now, you have two choices. Either you can get back to work, or you can get the hell out of my building. Hacking this is beyond me. Excuse me, Proctor Ingram. This place has seen better days, that's for sure. Proctor. Amazing that this tower is still standing. Hope it stays that way while we're here.
Security's too tight. Have to get the power back on. We could always drop through here. Might not be as cushy as an elevator, right? Hostile sensor we'll reading. Detected. Curious. Here,
Thanks for the assist, sir. Hell yeah, we slagged those damn scents. I have some important work to do, if you'll excuse me. Ingram? I'm glad to see you're still in one piece. I wouldn't have made it without your help. That's funny. I seem to remember having to talk you into letting me come along. 
Anyway, we shouldn't stand around here talking. We've got a lot of work to do. Well, this is it. The moment of truth. We've pre-programmed Liberty Prime's battle coordinates into his navigational processor. As soon as he's under his own power, he'll head straight for the Institute. Elder Maxon wants you to follow, and make sure he arrives at the CIT in one piece. I've checked every wire and every bolt on the big guy. All we need to do is plug in the agitator, start Prime's reactor, and cross our fingers. We don't need luck, Ingram. We've got you. I didn't do it alone. Look, I discussed it with Elder Maxon, and we think you should be the one who has the honor of starting Liberty Prime. Just plug the beryllium agitator into his reactor port, then head back down here and press the transfer button. Good luck, Paladin. Ad Victorium. <laughs>